This is Leytonstone. Hundreds of thousands of people pass through it every day, yet few people realise the cultural significance of this quiet London borough. Turner nominee Cornelia Parker once lived here. Paul Noble, the painter, performance artist Gary Stevens and filmmaker John Smith, among many others, lived in these streets. Dyers Hall Road, Colville Road, Philly Book Road. Where once the great Philly Book flowed from Wanstead to the mighty Thames, artists thrived on its banks. Leighton Stone is the fertile land where Britain's avant-garde filmmakers make their home. Are they attracted by the birthplace of the great Alfred Hitchcock? Or do hollow ponds and Epping Forest provide convenient locations for scenes set amongst the forests? The homes of many of the young stars who became the centre of the world's attention during the young British artist's years were made here. But then the road came, protests were made, and a counterculture grew made of road protesters and artists, united in attempting to make a saner society where the car did not rule. And yet the bulldozer had its day. Few from that time now remain. Matthew Hale of Art Monthly clings on, and until his untimely death, Ken Campbell made his home in Epping Forest. But the magic of Leighton Stone is still here. That intangible quality. Is it the light that fills the lens of the new generation of filmmakers? Is it the new bars, the cafes, the lunar lounge is the centre of Leighton Stone's artistic cosmos? The famous Heathcote, where artists and writers can converse. Who can tell? But the name Leytonstone is a byword for creativity. Leytonstone is truly London's artistic hub.